everyone. I'm Samantha Callahan, and I've been playing varsity volleyball at Granada for three years. I would first like to thank the Livermore Granada Boosters for having us here today, and congrats to all the other finalists here as well. As athletes, we've all gone through tough challenges that put us where we are today, and have taught us new lessons to grow from. The sacrifices you make as an athlete to be the best you can be shape you unlike anything else. The sacrifices you make in Many of the athletes here today might agree with me when I say that it hasn't been easy. From crunching in homework on a flight to a tournament or missing a school event to go to practice, I now know what it means to sacrifice small moments for something bigger. Over time, I've been able to see how doing all these small things have accumulated over time to help me reach my goals and aspirations. The dream to get as far as I can playing the sport I love and meeting some of my best friends along the way. Through the past five years of playing volleyball, I've learned so much about myself from both the challenges and the opportunities the sport has presented me with. I first got the opportunity to coach younger girls volleyball through my club last year. I first went into it thinking that it was an easy way to make some money before having to go to practice. However, as I continued to help coach them, they ended up changing my perspective. Being able to see how much they were able to get better and seeing their passion for the game evolve not only through last year, but as I came back to coach this year, has made me realize how much I've also been able to grow from the experiences I've had playing. I wouldn't be here today, though, without the endless support and encouragement by my family. I've learned what continual support can do for both me personally and how it can also have an impact on my teammates playing beside me. I first began playing volleyball because of my older sister, following in her footsteps along the way. She played on the volleyball team at Granada and is now playing in college, but her time at Granada didn't go unnoticed. She accomplished many things and was able to help shape the volleyball program into what it is today. Her perseverance and hard work helped me realize the dedication I had to have in order to become the player I wanted to be. But following her drive and leadership wasn't an easy feat. The numerous hours put in, perseverance and heart she put into her teams and herself set expectations like no other for me, falling right behind her. Not only was I constantly having to prove that I could live up to those expectations, but trying to carry on that perseverance and heart the way I knew how to. Because of her, I started my high school volleyball career even before my first day at Granada. I was by her side going to high school camps, open gyms, and even cleaning up bingo on the weekends. I was able to see even before joining the team at Granada that it takes more than just being good at playing a sport but rather the dedication to show up when no one else is willing to and put in the hours outside of what's required. But with that being said, all of my sister's accomplishments helped to open my eyes to the possibilities out there. She helped me see what could happen when you put a few more hours on the court and push yourself like no other to be the best you can be. She truly is an inspiration to me and allowed me to understand what's achievable if you keep pushing yourself. This has resonated to me both on the court and in the classroom. Throughout high school, I've challenged myself with difficult coursework in order to gain more knowledge and explore my passions outside of volleyball. Before high school, I was very focused on academics with volleyball as a hobby, so I really didn't see myself being a student athlete in college. However, my freshman year of high school, when I joined a highly competitive club team, I realized that I did want to play at a higher level. Since then, by continuing to challenge myself and push myself every day, I began to love the sport more and more. It helped me push through all the hardships going through the college recruiting process to be able to continue to challenge myself academically and play the sport I love at Cal Poly Slow. The reminders of how much I love the sport and the memories I've had along the way and continue to make outshine all the hardships I've had to face. I've been leaning on this motivation and dedication I've had for volleyball more so in the past few weeks than I've had to before. This week marks one of the most momentous events for one's club volleyball career, competing in my last junior nationals. My team and I have worked endlessly to secure a bid to nationals, but I'm also coming off an ankle injury, unsure if I'll be able to finish off this season. As I begin to prepare for the tournament coming up, I can't help but reflect on what this sport has taught me. To work hard, to show up for both my team and myself, and also believe in myself, even when faced with adversity. I will carry these lessons with me, not only through my volleyball career, but for the rest of my life. Thank you.